Good morning everybody and welcome back. Uh, firstly, a big thank you, a massive thank you to everybody, up to new subscribers and all subscribers and if you just clicked on the video for the first time, uh, please watch the other videos and you'll see what this is all about. Uh, yeah, but a massive thank you to everyone and if you've not subscribed, please consider subscribing, clicking and sharing and all the rest of it right it is monday morning we are back i hope you all have had a lovely weekend because mine was outstanding because i didn't have to work it uh yeah it is 8 a.m in the morning like i said i almost start at half seven so happy as peanuts with that this week's rant, um, I'm going to do a bit of the vehicle and the crane at the back, so you can all see what that's about. Um, I'm going to try and post one video a week, uh, just give me time over the weekend to get it edited and all put together, so there'll be snippets of different days in there, but it all builds up to a, a general idea of what I'm doing. So yeah, today's rant and topics, um, micromanagement and in-cab CCTV, what do you all feel about that? Micromanagement and in-cab CCTV, as usual, all comments down below in the comments box, put your comments in about it and your thoughts, because it's you lot that are helping me out. Uh, micromanagement, let's see, the HGV industry has been micromanaged that much, you can't pinch anything out of it now, i.e. time-wise. Um, if they micromanage the staff in the office as much as they do a truck driver, I think they get more productivity out of people. It just seems that they're pointing and looking in the wrong places because, unfortunately, when you go to these loading bays, there is nothing that you can do apart from join a queue. And if you're in a queue, what are you going to do? You're on their site. That You know, you can't sit there and say, well, my gaffer told me, because I'll tell you exactly what they'll say. Get back in your unit and bog off, mate. And then you're stuck there going, uh, I can't go in. Why not? because you told me X, Y, Z, no I didn't and that's all you ever get and it, the trucking industry or HGV industry has become a thing of I spy so it, everybody that sat in office wants to have a damn good nose here what you're doing in your day well hang on a minute you employed me to do a job and that's exactly what I'll do so why do you have to sit there in an office and tell me how it's done You've got your HGV, come and do it yourself, you bloody numpty. I tell you, they, they just, they've micromanaged it to the, to the nads. It, it's another part of the industry that's knackered, you know, and hence why it all needs to be cleaned up. You can't keep telling your drivers how to do the job when you've employed them to do a job. I mean, come on, they've passed their HGV, they've passed the theory test, and then they come in and then you want to know whether they know what a law bridge is, where north, south, east, west is, um, you know, where Sheffield, all that lot, what speed limits, you can't park here, do you know this, do you know that? I've done all that on an HGV for heaven's sake. You know, teach me about roping, sheeting, using ratchet straps, tying down, anchor points, Suzy lines, reversing up, RDCs. That's what you want to know, but yet no, they go on it, oh, it's a paper exercise, because when it all goes tits up, they're blaming you for it, because, oh, he signed this piece of paper to say, yeah, he's good at all that. No, have a rethink and think about what your questions you're asking for your drivers. It, because I tell you what, they are goddamn pathetic. 
you know what I mean? I, I, I filled an application form in and all the rest of it. I've got the interview, I've got the job, but yet you want me to sit another bloody test? What's that going to prove? What is it going to prove? Apart from naff all. But yeah, um, I, I don't agree we are the, the micromanaged HGV drivers. What we, It's this society of, you know, don't care and all the rest of it and take the whittle out of you and so on and so on. No, I don't get it. I really don't. You know, it's micromanaged so much now. In cab CCTV. What's that all about? I'll tell you exactly what I've done with the in cab CCTV in previous wagons. Is I put a cloth over it. And I have had everything thrown at me for putting a cloth over it. I.e. If you do that, you'll be sacked for misuse of company equipment. Well, hang on a minute. I looked into all this, and misuse of company equipment. Uh, no, you're misusing and abusing my rights. That is all you're doing. I, I have one in a sleeper unit in an Arctic. And I'm sorry, I'm not watch, having anybody sat there watching me, and they give me the excuse that uh, we're not watching you, uh, it's for insurance purposes. Piss off. I tell you what, if it's, that's the case, then why don't they give all the rights to the insurance company so there's only them that can see it? Because they'll quite happily sit there and watching you changing your block, boxer shorts in the morning and have a good laugh at you. Uh, no, it, I'm sorry. And I, I have caught companies out doing it. Uh, when, it, when somebody puts down a comment that oh, did you enjoy your apple with your dinner today that lovely red apple it wasn't a guess because it's very rare I take an apple to work you know did I, did I enjoy my apple there was no one there around me nobody knew what I had for my dinner apart from said individual no it is against your human rights and a breach of your human rights unless you sign a disclosure form saying that you will have in cab monitorization of surveillance and if it says for insurance purposes don't sign to it because if it's insurance purposes there is only insurance companies that should be monitoring it I totally agree with cameras all around the vehicle to help and benefit you um, in case of an accident or an incident but inside your cab I really don't agree with it because when you take an unpaid break it's classed as a canteen then now unless they provide canteen facilities and um, I a brew cabin and coffee and tea and all that lot uh, it is an invasion of your privilegial rights uh, which get goes against all human rights they've got to remember that this workplace that you're in because they won't let you smoke in there because it's classed as your place of work um, yeah because it's your place of work where else are you going to go you know to have a break I mean a good example is bin men you know they're on the round all day where are they going to go to have a break there's no brew cab in there and it's alright them saying oh well for them 15 minutes just chuck a rag over it bloody well. no no I want it out I don't mind around the truck but I'm not having it in the truck no uh, it, it's just it, it's wrong that they get to do all this and this is yet part of all the micro management of a HGV and what it does why are you so nosy into the work that I'm doing and if they go oh, well it's in case you you know have a, a an accident or an incident or what well, in the cab no what you're frightened of is you've overworked us uh, and what you want to do is see if we fall asleep at the wheel oh hang on a minute 
but this is all coming back down to excessive working hours oh yeah oh I wonder who's bright spot that was I was tired because I'd done god knows how many 15 hour shifts you see the whole entire industry is shooting itself in the foot by stupid pathetic out of college bright ideas yeah what what is it that you want to see a HGV driver do that you've got to put cameras in the cab what I've got a taco for heaven's sake yes that registers my time at work my driving hours and all the rest of it and if I've cameras all around the cab outside if I have an incident then you'll be able to see whether I broke in the vehicle to avoid X, Y, Z, or whatever. And I, I just don't get it. I really don't get it. And, you know, I'm not being horrible. Well, I am, because it's against all rights. It's against all rights of my work environment. You're in violating my work environment. And, you know, they tried to sack me for the... Uh, the stand-up that I did for a, a surveillance camera in my cab and needless to say uh, it failed miserably and I mean failed miserably uh, they had no grounds whatsoever to stand on because every word that come out of their mouth was just crap uh, so much so that it, it, I just said you know what I'll take it to court I'll, I'll take you to court not a problem because it's just against all rights all my working rights when you put that camera in the cab surveillance and everything goes against everything how many office environments do you go in and please look at this one and think about it how many office environments do you go in where there is a camera virtually above them right you'll get it in a shop because of theft and things like that and if you go in a shop you'll see there is a disclosure sign there that you will be monitored and surveyed in the shop because they have to by law right so what makes it different for a HGV there isn't something on the cab door or the driver's cab door when you get in saying that you'll be monitored and all the rest of it there isn't a thing disclosure form you know and, and go through your contract properly to make sure there isn't one there before you start spouting off and you've accidentally signed to it you know there isn't something there that says oh you'll be monitored and surveyed through your working day you know no you by law you have to do these things and in the HGV industry they think they're above the law and they'll surveil you all day long that's a, be a breach of my working and break and human rights you know they can't provide me with a, an efficient canteen and all the rest of it so it's alright saying put a rag over no I shouldn't need to do that in an office space you don't get a camera literally above them and I mean literally above them you know you might do in the far corner of the office but it's not directly above them or, or literally four foot away from you you know it, I don't have a camera in here by the way I really don't um, my, my boss is not that vicious he's really not uh, but yeah no they don't have it in their work environment and all the rest of it and the other thing is toilet facilities this is another reason why you're not supposed to have cameras in the cab because where else are you supposed to go to the toilet and it's all right saying service stations and all this lot and blah de blah and public toilets and so on or other work depots that you go to hang on a minute we went through a thing of covid19 and a lot of drivers were denied the right to use a toilet oh yeah. that's nice isn't it oh but we're essential workers and we really need you now see it's all yet coming back to bite you on the butt it is just absolutely pathetic of what they do with HGV drivers and they wonder why nobody wants to drive a truck 
and everybody can say oh well you're just a whinging truck driver and all the rest of it no I'm not a whinging truck driver don't give me a reason to whinge or to moan when you're going above the law what is it what is it with the HGV industry that everybody wants to be so nosy about it if you want to be that nosy about it upload the images straight to an open website where everybody can view it and your public can view, view it and all the rest of it and they can sit there and go do you know what he's been at work 17 hours today how's he managed that when his driving hours are only xyz no they won't do it because if they fa get found out properly what they're doing they're in a bit of trouble you know and it goes yet again abusing drivers I don't come to work to be abused. I don't come to work to be micromanaged because I filled an application for me and did your test and all the rest of it, right? For you to say, we think you are fit, able and capable to do the job. Then why are you surveying me? Without signing a disclosure form. I tell you, it's shocking. Right, I'm going to leave it there for that. I've had a bit of a rant and a moan. Um, I'm going to show you some bits on the wagon and around the wagon of what it is I do.
to persevere with me I've got other bits coming and all the rest of it to make it easier to show you guys exactly what I'm doing but I hopefully you'll all stick with me and join along on the ride uh, and like new people just coming into it Joe Public all the rest of it I hope I can give them an insight to the HGV world I know it's not on a class one and all the rest of it I won't go back to that uh, my name's Billy Hunt, not silly yeah you know what I'm going to say um, I've I can come out of that don't want to do it anymore I've, I've had my fill I've, I've had enough of being abused that's what I've had enough of uh, so yeah I'll leave it there on that one um, please remember to like, share, subscribe and all the rest of it and a big thank you to everyone that has done and followed along and I'm hoping that things will get massively better as we go along um, it should do but I'm hoping it does uh, I'm still on a learning curve of editing and all that lot but yeah uh, nothing more to say in it all but please join me along on the next one and we'll turn this into a weekly thing so until the next time guys please do take care do take it easy and remember to take your breaks i'll see you in the next one bye bye